Hey, this is René. Welcome back to another video. And I um, promised you that we will make some backtests for this CCI system that we just created in the previous five videos, I think. And these are the optimization results already because I did this before the video because this takes a lot um, of time. You can see it in the lower right corner. This took over an hour <clears throat> to process by the computer. But what we see here is that we have several combinations of uh, the settings that actually make a profit in the last um, three years. So I always tested the um, period starting from 2018 until the end of 2021. And what I did here is I, um, uh, I, I did a complete optimization so I didn't do just a single backtest, but I did a optimization. <clears throat> and you can do a optimization too. Just go to the tester. You can uh, open it by clicking on view strategy tester and then click in the uh, uh, lower left corner on overview. And there you will find complete optimization. And then the first um, form here is pretty much the same as for a single backtest. But you can see for optimization, it already... Um, pre-selected, 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 slow, complete algorithm. And you can now have a look at the inputs. And what you can see here is you can check these checkboxes before the actual name of the parameter. And whatever input you check using this checkbox, um, this input will be optimized. What does this mean? This means that you can then fill in the start, step, and stop um, column here. And then you can fill in a starting value. For example, for the TP points, 250. A step value of uh, 250 again. And a stop value. And this means that the tester or optimizer will calculate with every single possible um, input for these TP points. So it will start with 250 and then it will increase um, the 250 by the step value, which means that the next test will be done with a input of 500 for the TP points. And the next one with 750, the next one with 1000, the next one with 1250 and the last one with 1000. 500 because this is the stop value. So we have in total, you can see it at the very right side, we have six steps in total. Same is uh, for the SL points. I have uh, several um, inputs here. For example, for the start value 200, for the step value 200, for the stop value 200, uh, 1200, which will again result in a um, total of six steps. And then we have the CCI level, which is again um, five steps. And because there are so many combinations now, you will have to multiply these values. So you have to multiply six by six and then by five. And this will result in a total of 180 backtest runs. So this is um, the amount of test tests uh, done by the tester. So you can see it starts at zero and it ends at 179. And you can see that uh, you can always, uh, you will always have different inputs for these uh, parameters that you chose to optimize. So this is how you can use the optimization. Um, still, of course, this is not like the holy grail of backtesting. You cannot say that the settings at the top are the very best settings in any market condition and you can just trade these settings for constant profit. This is now how, not how the game works. But this is how optimization works and I hope that you understood this. If you are wondering why my input form here, uh, inputs form or mask, looks a lot different than yours, this is because I erased the partial close and the uh, moving average because I wanted to make a backtest as quick as possible. But you can, of course, also choose to optimize with the um, partial close and the uh, moving average um, uh, filter. So there's no 
uh, it's it's not bad to, to leave them here. It will just take longer. And I also mm, changed the CCI levels because uh, we programmed a CCI buy level and a CCI sell level, and I changed it. So um, now I only have this one CCI level input, and in the um, uh, for the check here, I then always chose this CCI level input, but for the buy signal, I added a minus in front of it. So this will make sure that we will have the same input uh, for the buy and sell trigger, but we only have one input variable, so this makes it easier to optimize. And I made another change, which I will explain now real quick, which we will see if we have a look at one backtest, because I changed the signals. And I will show you this in a backtest now. So what we can do here is, for example, we can take the third backtest from the top, because this has a relatively low drawdown and a nice profit. We can double click it, I think, and it will or it should automatically start a test for us. Um, yeah, it is still checking the history here, but I think once it is done, it should automatically start a test for us. Uh, okay, I just realized that it does not show the visual mode, so <clears throat> I will have to run it manually. Click on visualize, check the inputs if they are matching to the test that I want to test now, and it is matching, so I can go click on start. And then it should open the visual strategy tester. And now I will explain what I changed here for the signals. And then, yeah, we will have a look at this single back test. And yeah, that's it pretty much. If you, <clears throat> if you want to learn more about optimization, I just had a brief overview in this video. Um, if you want to learn more about it, leave me a comment below. Maybe I can uh, explain it a little bit um, or in a separate video, but after all, this is pretty much all I do with optimization and just choose <clears throat> several input um, variables that I want to optimize. I set up the start step and the uh, and the end for this, and then um, yeah, I just watch if there is a um, or where the where the good results are. And there's a little bit um, more that I do with uh, clustering, like the good results because I do not want to trade a result that is um, good by by luck pretty much or because there was a good um, uh, uh, good market uh, phase for this um, for these settings but yeah maybe I can do another video on this if you're interested but first of all let me explain what I changed in the code here so um, what I did is, um, first we programmed it in the tutorial so that we would enter a trade if the CCI level is reached. For example, here we have the highest point pretty much, which is above uh, 240, I think, so we have a signal. And for the old um, signal, we would have entered the trade here at the beginning of this candle because there we had um, the... <coughs> Uh, the entry signal already, but now I changed it so that we would enter the trade if the overbought um, area is left. So once the price drops below this level again, then we enter the trade. So we enter the trade with the beginning of this candle, which is a little bit higher, so the entry is a little bit better. This will not be better for every single situation, of course, but, but I think overall that is, this is still an improvement and it was a comment uh, below one of the videos. So you can make these changes. It was just, um, yeah, um, some exchanging and turning around of these um, greater, smaller um, operators here in the main um, condition for the signals. Okay, so let us run this test now and have a look at the result at the end. In the end, so the back test is finished and you can see the result here on the screen. Um, let's jump to the um, to the key figures. And what we can see here is that we have a profit factor of one point one five. And yeah, you can pretty much see all the other. Uh, important key figures here if you pause the video or if you do the test on your own PC 
and then you can read all the numbers. And you can also have a look at these <coughs> uh, graphics here and maybe you can learn a little bit more about the strategy. So one more important thing, this is just a back test. So these results will not um, keep on going pretty much for the future or at least it is not guaranteed. So there's always a risk that you can have a bad uh, market <coughs> Uh, market phase or condition pretty much like we have here in the beginning we lost money in the first yeah, I think 10 months and this can also happen in the next 10 months so there's no guaranteed um, profit of course with this strategy but it looks like you can make a profit choosing the right settings uh, for the right market um, yeah for the right time and yeah, this is how you can choose the optimization and the tester. And this shall be it for the CCI system. This is video number six. And um, if you did not see the previous five videos, you should absolutely have a look at them because you will um, yeah, learn how we wrote this program. And um, yeah, for a last for the last part in this video, I just want to show you my uh, source code that I used for testing. As I already said, I removed the moving average filter and the partial close because this made testing a little bit slower. So I wanted to have a fast test here just to show you um, one example and then you can do all the testing on your own. So what I did here is I removed all the inputs for these two functions. So we only have the trade settings and the CCI settings left. I of course also removed the global variable for the um, moving average handle. Then in the on, in, uh, on tick function we had this block here where we looped over all the open positions and did the partial close and tr um, uh, trading stop or break even stop. Um, oh yeah, I also removed the break even stop. And yeah, you can remove the whole loop that was here and we can just um, <coughs> keep this, uh, this if statement where we check if we have to open a position. And then again, I changed these conditions for the signals um, because I just use one CCI level input variable here and I added this minus in front of it for the buy signal, of course, because I want to have the value below zero. And I just <coughs> chose the normal CCI level input for the sell signal here. And yeah, this is it. The rest pretty much stays the same. I already explained that I pretty much turned around these um, comparison operators here. So just build the condition a little bit different. And again, you can just copy it for your own PC and compile it and then test it. So this is it for the series. Hope you liked it. Leave me a comment below for some uh, suggestion, su su suggestions for more videos. And yeah, we will see each other next time. Until then, have a great time. Bye.